Hi, I just finished a painting. It's a wonderful painting. I had so much fun doing it. I love to do paintings that are a combination of both geometric and uh, organic shapes. I love to do paintings that have buildings, that have cars, things like that. And I have a show coming up from, I believe it's February 10th to, to March 9th in Madison, Indiana. It'll be at Joey G's down there and I'll have more information on my website. But I'm doing a series of paintings of the town of Madison, Indiana. And uh, what I have here is a, a painting of Main Street, Madison. Madison's a great town. It's a great tourist spot. It's a historic town. The town uh, came into being the early part of the 19th century. It was a really important river town along the Ohio River. And if you go there, you'll see a beautiful uh, main street with old buildings that are well kept, beautiful. You'll see a lot of mansions from the period and they're all open to the public. So what I want to do now is talk to you about my painting and how I did it. Okay, so here you have the street and it's, uh, you can tell it's a, a painting that was done about uh, early afternoon because the shadows are, are pretty much coming straight down here. Um, the th things that you'll notice about the painting is it has uh, linear perspective. So the buildings here are taller than the buildings here and that's because we have a vanishing point. The buildings, they come down this way, the street kind of comes over this way, and so back over here is where the vanishing point is. But this situation like this is what's called linear perspective. I had to study that a lot in college, and I thought it was kind of boring and a pain in the neck, but I love it now because it, it gives that dimension uh, of depth to a painting. It's so great because you look at this, you can walk right up that street. Um, now the other thing, there is what's called atmospheric perspective. So what you're saying, like I said before, these buildings right here are big, but the buildings down here are small. A tree here is big. Well, for example, let's take this small one. This one's bigger than this one, but that's just because we're trying to create an image of depth so you can look right down in here so those are two of the things that that really help and other things that help uh, when you do a painting if you look at objects and instead of thinking I'm going to paint that house or that building or that car look at the shapes and the values break it down that way rather than saying oh I'm going to paint this building you look and you find that here's a shape right here that's that color and here's a shape this color and so forth. Then paint those things in. Do it kind of like a jigsaw puzzle. Now, um, I'm going to show you close up what these things look like so you can see that I just broke things down by shape. I love to do cars, and I love to do buildings. So let's take a look and see what it looks like. Okay, closer. here's a car. Now notice that I, I have just, I painted a, a gray stripe along the hood that goes to the back. I painted a black stripe on the side and kind of a green stripe. I just looked for those little shapes of color. Then we have the cars behind, and I've kind of done the same thing. If you look close, they don't really look that much like a car. So you look at that front of the car. That doesn't look like a car. It just looks like some paint strokes. But it comes together. Now let's look at these windows. Now one of the ways that we're getting a feeling of depth is by the color that I'm putting in the windows. Let's look at this right here. See those windows right there? 
it's just kind of paint. Well, if you see kind of the dark shape that kind of goes diagonal, that's just representing a shadow. And then down that red line is the color of inside the window, or the side of the window. And then, uh, so that gives you a feeling for that. Another thing that's interesting is all of these buildings have a lot of ornamentation on the front of them, like up at the top. And so let's look at that. Uh, and all I've done up there is just made little paint strokes up across. And then uh, this shadow under here is just painted blue. That's basically the color of shadow. Let's look at the ornamentation and so forth on these windows. Can you see sort of what I did here? Okay. Now let's look down. Let's look at this flag. If you look up close, that's kind of what I'm seeing when I'm painting it just these kind of wild paint lines. But then when you back out, there's the flag. So different things like that. One more thing, let's look. I, I put some motorcycles there. You want to see what motorcycles look like close up? Well, there's one. Does it look like a motorcycle? Here's another one. That's another motorcycle. Well, those are my motorcycles that are parked on the side of the road. And with trees. Let's look at the tree. See there's that tree there and let's zoom in and see what kind of happened on it. Just with kind of little patches of paint here and there. And then so I think we've kind of gone over the whole thing. We'll back out again so you get a, a feel for the painting. And there it is. I hope you've enjoyed looking at this painting that I finished today and possibly that you'd learn a little something that you can use in your own Thank painting. you very much for taking a look and have a good day.